Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Python. Today we are going to learn about how to upload the images to the AWS S3 bucket. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here you can see that we have a flask. We have to install the package that is flask and we are going to import from the flask that is request, justifier, and the template, read rate URL and the URL for, and we have to install the Boto3 that is for the AWS S3 bucket. So here you can see that you can, if you have a dependency issues, then go with this one particular version you have found to install. And if you, uh, if you don't, then uh, just install pip install Boto3. Okay. So here we have that one. So here the last one, I think pip install flask and boto3 okay with the help of this right so this is the code for uploading the images let's have a look the images are uploading or not so here we go with the i think i have run this one test by test aws python so let's open the link and here we can see that we have this upload image part section just choose the file so here i'm going to upload any of the images okay upload your images to the cloudinary let's try to upload this and what it says uploaded image is there but here the image is not showing because we haven't set the public path if i go to the aws okay so aws console i have to log in let's just log in back so do the next sign in So we have a S3 bucket. We have a Cloudinary image type, right? So in the upload images 12, we have the Cloudinary. Let's have a look. So what is the image that is images to the Cloudinary, right? This is the image. Let's make it public. Okay. So here we have this one. Make the public ACL. I will make public. Okay, and when I reload this one, the URL where we have in the Chrome. Okay, let's reload this. And here you can see that the image is now publicly available. Okay, so this is how we are able to upload the images to the S3 bucket. Let's have a dive into the code level how we are going to do that. Okay, so this is that one, right? Next, we have to set the AWS credentials file. So here we have our SS key ID and the secret. Okay, then we have to make the S3 bucket name and here let's start the configuration with the AWS key ID and the secret. Okay, then we have upload API for the uploading the images to the S3. So this is the same logic that first we were checking that the file is there or not. If the file name is also not there, then we said that the no selected file is there. Then we are trying to upload the images to the S3 bucket. This is very important. That is S3 dot upload file obj. A file it requires, S3 bucket it requires, file dot name it requires. Okay. Then how to get the public URL of the bloated images, object URL with the help of this. So this will return you the public image, right? So that's the public image. If I go to this one, okay, here you can see this is public images that this is the URL image URL, this one, right? So we are able to just show that image. Okay. It will return you the public image. So wherever you want to showcase, then you can want to save the into the database. You can also save the into the database so that you can retrieve and show that automatically. Okay. And if something goes wrong, it will give you the error that with the specific error. Okay. Then we are trying to redirect to the index with the object URL. Okay. And here we have the route index. We are just uh, request arguments that image URL and just we are sending the render template index.html where we are sending the image URL. Okay. And from that one, we are just doing that one. So here we have the index.html file. So here we have upload function. If we are checking that the image URL is there and it's publicly accessible, then we are going to showcase that image URL in the image source. Okay. This is the full fledged code for how to upload the images to the S3 bucket. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.